Hi friends, once again back to biologyexamsforay.com. Today we are going to discuss about the difference between energy flow and nutrient cycling in an ecosystem. Starting with the definition of ecosystem. Ecosystem refers to the interaction of organisms with one another and with their environment in which they occur. The two most fundamental processes that is happening in an ecosystem are the flow of energy and the cycling of nutrients. And we'll be discussing the exact difference between these two terms in this video. Starting with the definition of energy flow. Energy flow is a transfer of food energy or energy from one trophic level to another in a non-cyclic unidirectional manner through a food chain or a food web. So this is a food chain. The energy from the sunlight is trapped by producers then that is transferred to different consumers ultimately reaching decomposes. Here the movement of food energy is unidirectional as the energy that is lost is not available to the organisms in the previous trophic level. It is lost forever. That is why the energy flow is called as unidirectional. Whereas in the case of nutrient cycling, there is cycling of nutrients between living organisms and their physical environment in an ecosystem. So let's take the example of nitrogen cycling. Nitrogen cycling, nitrogen is abundant in the atmosphere. So this nitrogen is fixed by microorganism. Later it is taken up by the plants, followed by animals, it enters a food chain, and finally denitrifying bacteria returns this nitrogen back to atmosphere. So it is simply the cycling of nutrients between living and non-living components in an ecosystem. Difference number two regarding the energy source. In the case of energy flow, generally the ultimate energy source is the energy from the sunlight. The energy from the sunlight is trapped by the producers by the process called photosynthesis and that energy is utilized by all other organisms of the trophic level. Whereas in the case of nutrient cycling, nutrient source, it always belongs to the earth, often atmosphere or lithosphere. In the case of cycles like nitrogen cycle, carbon cycle, where majority of the nutrients are locked in the atmosphere, whereas in the case of sedimentary cycles like sulfur, phosphorus, etc., or the major nutrient store, maybe the rocks. So the nutrients are not from outside, nutrients are actually cycling within the earth. Difference number three, that is regarding the utilization of energy. During energy flow, energy is lost at each trophic level as heat and used by respiration of these group of organisms. Energy from sun that is trapped by producers or green plants and that is taken up by the organisms in the second trophic level. According to 10% law, only 10% of energy is transferred from first trophic level to the second trophic level. 90% of energy is lost as heat or and also some energy is used by these green plants for their respiration. So energy from the sun enters as light energy and exit in an ecosystem primarily in the form of heat and also used up during the respiratory activities of the concerned organisms. Whereas in the case of nutrient cycling, nutrients like carbon, nitrogen, phosphorus, sulfur, sulfur etc. that is present in the air that is used, recycled and reused, it may be transferred from one ecosystem to other but it remains within the earth or biosphere. That is why it is cycling. It is using, reusing and recycling in an ecosystem without any apparent loss. Difference number four regarding the role of decomposers. In the case of energy flow, energy is not recycled during decomposition by decomposers. There also majority of the energy is lost as heat. That is why in compost preparation we know that there is much heat generation during compost preparation by the microorganisms. In all nutrient cycles, these microorganisms are playing a crucial role in cycling these nutrients back to the atmosphere or back to the reservoir pool. And that's the difference between energy flow and nutrient cycling. Hope things are clear. You are with biologyexamsforyou.com. Thank you so much for your support.